as Jared pointed out, to all those market moves coming on the back of that hotter than expected inflation rating for the month of August. The headline number clocking in at 8.3 percent year over year versus the 8.1 percent that was expected. So where do we go now? Rates that are higher for longer and more pain for the consumer. We're joined by Michelle Meyer, MasterCard Economics Institute chief U.S. economist. Certainly a big reaction in the markets this morning, Michelle. You know, where does this put us right now, roughly a week out from the next Fed meeting? Sure. So, I mean, as you noted, inflation came in significantly above expectations, and it was really the underlying inflation data that stood out to me. We did see that drop in energy prices. We know that happened when you look at prices at the pump. But what we learned from this morning's data is that services inflation, the services economy is still seeing building inflation. Look at the increase in shelter um, costs or inflation. You have medical care. You have this broadening out of inflation pressures in the services economy. Um, so outside of, yes, this relief from the drop in, in energy prices, which was hugely welcome, you are still seeing an economy where inflation has actually been accelerating. And when you think about what that means for the Fed, as you noted, you know, one week out from the meeting, the Fed has to be quite concerned about this. And the market has picked up on that pricing in that full 75 basis point of hikes. Yeah, and to your point, Michelle, when you look at core CPI, it was up 0.6%, certainly much hotter than what investors were or analysts were expecting. Um, I wonder what you make of the market read, though. I mean, you know, the, the Fed has made pretty clear that they don't believe inflation is going away anytime soon. They've said it's not just a month on month print that we're going to be looking at. So, in terms of actual expectations, has anything shifted as a result of this? Well, I think you have to consider both the supply side and the demand side of the economy when you're trying to understand the future for inflation. And on the supply side, I do think that there's been good news, and I think that will continue. If you look at supply chain pressures, they've been easing quite substantially. If you look at container costs, or you look at delivery times, or you look, most importantly, at inventory levels, which have started to pick up. So that should be some relief in terms of mitigating the inflation more on the good side of the economy. Now, now, when you think about the demand forces that are driving inflation, that's the health of the labor market. That's the tightness of the labor market. That's the low level of the unemployment rate and the strong wage growth, which is continuing to allow that pressure to push into the economy and see higher <laughs> inflation. And that's what the Fed is going to be keenly focused on. Um, and I think quite influencing how they think about the trajectory forward for monetary policy. Yeah, and Michelle, that raises a question as we look ahead to year end, you know, how this all looks for retailers, for consumers. You've got your annual report out here, the MasterCard Spending Pulse Survey, looking at holiday forecasts. Surprising, though, even with inflation at still very elevated level, you're expecting to see yeah. what some would consider a fairly strong holiday season. I would think so. We, you know, we're looking at retail X auto to be up 7.1% during this holiday season. Um, that's strong. Um, and as you noted, yes, part of that is inflation. But remember, you know, the more narrow measure of that holiday sales has inflationary pressures that have been a little bit you know, lower, right? More of that good side of inflation where you've seen some of that pricing come down. Um, so yeah, I think, you know, when even when you control for inflation, you're still seeing uh, quantity increases. You're still going to be seeing consumers going out there and spending. And it'll be really fascinating to watch those decisions that they make in the sense of what they spend on, when they spend, where they spend. All of that, I think, is going to be fascinating as we see that evolve and as we look at the data. And, and, you know, Michelle, I'm thinking back to where we were a year ago. We had all those warnings from retailers saying that supply may not be there come holiday season. You got to get your shopping in early. That kind of pushed the timeline for the holiday season. This year, we're hearing about retailers with a lot of inventory left, steep discounts yeah. that are out there. How does that sort of shift the timeline? And what are we talking about in terms of the bargain shopping that's likely to be had because of the high levels of inventory? Sure. So, I mean, I still think from the last two years, this kind of, you know, uh, uh, extension of the holiday season, I think that still holds through. And that's what we're hearing from retailers, that it's still an early start to the holiday season. You're still hearing about Christmas in September. Um, and, and I think that, 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 you know, 
people are aware of that and they're, you know, they're out there looking for those deals or out there looking for the best product. Um, you know, and I also believe that this move towards more online shopping has helped to facilitate the um, kind of spreading out of, of, of the discount season. It's no longer just one or two days of, you know, door buster deals. Um, it's the ability to offer those types of discounting and really respond to what you're seeing in terms of the consumer and the part of the retailers. Um, so I think it's still going to be a, a, a more prolonged season, but that panicked in some ways that we saw last year where people were worried they weren't going to get any product and they didn't really understand necessarily how to navigate the holiday period. That I think has abated as we look forward towards this season. Okay. Well, it feels like every year it gets earlier and earlier in terms of holiday <laughs> shopping season. Michelle, it's good to have you on this morning. Michelle Meyer, MasterCard Economics Institute Chief U.S. Economist.